Hi guys and welcome back to the Isle. Now today I've got a bit of a different episode for you guys. Today I'm going to be showcasing my favourite new places to be added to the map following the big update it dropped a few weeks ago. Now the first place I want to show you is this log canyon. Now for anyone who's not seen this location before it can be located along this river which leads up to the uh, crater lake. Now one of the reasons I really like this location is its access to water it's right under it you can't um, you can't lose a dino due to thirst here if you're um, if you're camping here trying to raise a dinosaur so you have quick and easy access to water anywhere in this location which is a really good asset to have now the dinosaur I think which would benefit from living in an environment such as this is the Utah now I think this because this place almost seems like it was designed for Utahs to hide it and set up ambushes. Now what I'm talking about here is with these sloped cliffs. Now you might think that you know there's nothing really special about having a sloped cliff on these um, little ledges but it really helps with um, the ambush quality. Now if I was a Utah and I was crouched here due to the rise or the slope in the cliff it's really hard for anything down here walking through to see you. So you can have a whole pack of Utah hiding up on these ledges and you won't be able to see them. Now this is a good opportunity, seeming as this place is a bit of a highway. As before the rivers were put in, these, um, these areas were actually used as paths. And I think people still use it for the, um, for the same reason. So you'll probably get quite a lot of herds or smaller dinosaurs walking through here and you can have a Utah pack placed on top of here waiting to ambush anything that comes through. Now this place also gives a um, good opportunity for nesting for Utahs especially. We have a lot of these smaller ledges which almost seem perfectly designed for single or double nesting sites. Um, this is good because there are numerous um, ledges such as this which means a large pack can nest easily and get the numbers of the pack up quite quick. Now the main fe uh, feature of this canyon is this massive log. Now before I just uh, tried to get across this log as a juvie rex and it did feel very uneasy because I got to the edge a bit just to see if I could drink down there and I found myself not really being able to get back onto, onto the log due to um, the poor turny radius of anything really but the Utah. Now the good thing about the Utah is when you're in the crouch position you've basically got an alt turn um, so if you're in the crouch position and you turn you basically do so on the spot this means that a Utah can come up here onto this log and walk across go as close to the edge as it wants without even worrying because it knows it'll be able to get off it this almost entirely makes this log and this area um, a safe haven for Utahs if I was a Utah I would definitely want to come here and nest there is a high AI spawn count in the area really easy access to water and it's just a nice place to explore loads of little ledges you can hide on and a nice little ambush area I don't think this is a place you'd want to come as a large apex predator not just because of the presence of the Utahs as we all know an apex especially a lone apex would probably fear a pack of Utahs but because anything but the Utah is going to have a hard time getting up and about on this so this is the first location I want to show you guys Comment below what you think of this location if you give my points and let's go on to the next one. Alright guys, so the second location I want to show you guys is this place. Now, I nicknamed this place River Cave. Now, this place can be located in the, um, in the valley between Trips and Swamp uh, if you just follow this river up the mountain. Now, obviously once again this location is perfect for water access as you basically will be under or next to the river at all times. Now the best feature about this place is you've got this little hidden secret path. Now most people, especially people new to the map, will simply walk past here and think oh this is just one of them little rapid areas and they'll just carry on walking past, Not probably not really looking inside. Now you can enter the um, this little area uh, through three points um, the first one being through the actual waterfall and then as you can see the left and the right entrance is here now you may look here and think oh, you know it's not really a good place to hide if you're a smaller dinosaur 
say you're a juvenile dinosaur and you're looking for somewhere safe to grow up, this might not be the best place on first glance, but I beg to differ. There is a short area down here where you can sit almost in the waterfall. Now, I don't think this is breaking any rules on a server because you're not technically sitting in the water. You are sitting on a rock above the water. And if you sit here, you can actually get basically the majority of your body hidden in the rock. You can get probably up to your shoulders hidden in this rock and then your tail hidden behind here. So it's just your, um, your back showing. And it's say if you're a juvenile T-Rex, this is the perfect place because you'll blend into the environment. You're a dark brown, which will probably hide well with the um, muddy landscape we see around here. Now, if you're an apex dinosaur or a larger dinosaur, this is also a good place to come. As you can just simply sit here, and you'll be if you get the camera angle right, you will be able to see out of here, and even above you. So, you something could be sitting above here, say a parasaur taking a drink, and you could be a rex actually under here watching what's happening getting ready to strike you know being in an ambush position here waiting for something to run past and then you just launch out that's a really nice asset to have here so this is more of an ambush location than a uh, a growth place you would want to be this is say a little pit stop you'd stay for a bit you know to refuel maybe you'll stay in the night time overnight um, as I was saying especially if you sit down here you're gonna be very hard to see in the night time and there is quite a high AI um, spawn count around here, depending on how many people there are. Um, the only downside I would say to this location is you are between trips and swamp, which means you will get a lot of migration coming through here. This is perfect if you're a big, a big carnival looking to hunt, but if you're more of a prey item, this might not be the best place to come because you are more than likely going to encounter a large predator. Alright guys, let's go on to the next location. Alright guys, this is our next location. Now, I call this place the water filtration um, plant. Um, and it's really cool as you can see. Obviously this place is intended for the humans, or it was made by the humans. As we can see there's a lot of pipe work, a little filtering area down here, and these big two tankers. Now, the best thing about this area I think is the safety it gives you. Especially if you're a dinosaur such as the Utah. So once again, this is an area which is probably going to be a good area to be as a Utah or bring a Utah pack. Now, you actually can get onto the top of these tankers if you are a Utah or maybe a galley. Now, what you do is you jump onto these pipes here and then you can jump up here and get into this fenced area. Now, I think a full pack could easily sit in these two um, fenced off areas really safely because no other dinosaur apart from the galley in the Utah can get up here so you're completely safe once you're up there and anything that's down here if you guys remember from my, um, a couple of videos ago I actually got a Utah I managed to buy it through the tank and I got a Utah that was sitting there but I got kicked from the server because it was um, apparently hunting for sport because I couldn't actually eat um, the body up there so you're basically completely safe once you're up there as long as the Utahs up there with you are in your pack. Now this place has a couple of cool other features such as this little pipe which one day might be usable by the um, by the human tribes. I can imagine that you could come up here and hold E and it would make the water stop or make it stop flowing. Now another cool feature of this area is coming in here. Now. I'm sure you can imagine if say you're a Dillo or a Utah once again, hiding down here and watching things move above you would be perfect for ambushing, especially if you're a Dillo because Dillos have the best night vision in the game. So if you're a Dillo you'll probably be able to see all up here and everything moving above you, which means when the time is right you can sneak out and ambush them. Um, even at night this will be a good place to come as a juvenile dinosaur, just hiding down here amongst the pipes. You know, getting in here with the ivy, it seems like a really safe location to come, especially if you're a smaller dinosaur. However, you could be at um, a vulnerable state, as this place does attract quite a lot of Utahs. So if you're willing to take the risk and you think you can hide down there and stay quiet enough and stealthy enough, this is a good place to come as a smaller juvenile dinosaur. 
but this place is a Utah sanctuary once again. You can get on this pipe as anything as large as a Rex. It is a pretty cool thing to do, you know, balancing on the pipe. It do really does nothing, but, um, you know, if you're just looking for sort of a bit of a mess about in the game, I have got up here in the, on the Giga, it's like a bit of a balance beam. So if you're looking for a bit of a muck about as an apex, you can come here, maybe even to hunt the Utahs. Alright guys, so let's go into the next location. Alright guys, for the next location I've actually brought you back to Swamp. Now you might be thinking, well, why have you taken us to Swamp if you've shown us new locations? But I think that I can put Swamp on this list because Swamp has had such a dramatic change to it, it almost is a new landscape. Now, if anyone played before the big update and can imagine in the head the before and after shot of the um, Swamp, it's, it's absolutely insane. In Swamp now we've got huge amounts of leaves and foliage for hiding in, whereas before Swamp was a really open and quite vulnerable space to be, especially if you're a smaller dinosaur. Now this place almost acts as a bit of a safe haven for smaller dinosaurs, with a pocket um, such as this area now being really dense in foliage. You can imagine a small juvie dinosaur hiding amongst here. And this is good because it brings in more prey to swamp. So this means if you're a bigger dinosaur such as the Giga, you can actually patrol the swamps and probably have more of a chance of finding something. Now these reeds are excellent cover if you want to move about. They do move while you move, so if I walked through these reeds it would make a little noise and there is a movement animation there, but if you are slow enough it is very discreet and almost unnoticeable, especially if you're the Giga. Now the bottom of these reeds is almost a yellowy gold colour, which perfectly matches the Giga's spotty, almost leopard style print on its back. So if you are a Giga or anything that has the camouflage to suit with these reeds, it's a perfect place just to sneak around Swamp until you see something. And once again, if you're a smaller dinosaur, Swamp now offers an area of protection, almost a little haven. You can imagine smaller dinosaurs just plunking themselves down in these smaller um, foliage areas hiding. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. These are just my personal picks of um, my new favourite areas on the maps. Comment below what you, your new favourite areas, or if you agree with what I'm saying, you can have entirely different views. Okay guys, I just want to say now, thank you for all the support we've been getting recently on the videos. We've hit 760 subscribers. I think in the past month we've had almost 200 subscribers to this channel. So we're growing at an amazing rate so far. And I just want to say keep up the good work. Let's try and get to a thousand before Christmas. It is pretty an, of an ambitious goal, but I think we can do it. So if you made it to the end of this video and you've subscribed, please tell me in the comments below. I do answer all the comments and thank you for watching.